This is the second part of Newton's Law of Motion. So these are your common forces that you're going to see in AP Physics 1. The first one is our weight force. You can use the letter W or FG because it is considered the force of gravity. This always points downwards um, to the ground. Beca um, to the basically core of the earth because that's how the gravitational field exists it is a long-range force of gravity it po points um, from the center of the object towards the center of earth tension tension is always on a rope or a string although the mass of the spring of the string or rope is massless uh, you the tension force exists along that path so it pulls along a rope and it's always away from the object the normal force the normal force is think about the normal force as the force that is pointing away from the surface it is always perpendicular to the surface that means you're always going to get a right angle okay let me show you the right angle here and right here that's the normal force friction force the frictional force is ca is caused by the roughness of a surface it slows an object down therefore it is always in the opposite direction of velocity please understand the frictional force touches the ground so it has to be on the ground and it goes in the opposite direction of the object's velocity. If the velocity is to the right, the friction force is to the left. If the object is going up a ramp, the force of friction is going down the ramp. You rarely see this, but this does exist, which is considered drag. Drag, we use the letter D. It is caused by fluid, and we consider fluid as air or water and it slows the object down once again. Drag and friction are essentially the same, but friction is due to it being on a physical surface, right, a solid surface, and drag is when it's in either a liquid or a gas. Then, then we have the applied force. The applied force is the force that um, that you're going to do something on so like in most of your problems it's like someone pushing a block that would be your applied force please understand that the summation of the forces is denoted by this symbol this is called the summation and this is when you add all the forces together the symbols for the resulting of adding all the force and vectors acting on this object together now we're going to go over the example of how to draw a free body diagram this is essential a sled is being pulled by a rope incline at 30 degrees and again if we don't tell you it's from the ground so here's the picture please draw a simple shape to represent the object a dot or a box would do well to add vectors for long range so that's going to be your weight or your force of gravity which is the same thing and we know that that is always pointing down. You're going to imagine a circle being drawn around the object in the diagram. Look for contact forces touching the object. Add all those vectors for each force identically to the diagram. The fact that this object is on a surface, there is a normal force going up and as well as there is a tension force. That tension force is along the direction. Again, this is along the direction of the rope of rope please understand that here there is no force of friction the reason why is because this is on a frictionless surface like a um, ice field so consider all contact forces that may be invisible but they are stated in the sentence of the problem Applied forces such as a car's motor or brake or environmental forces such as air resistance or friction. Not to mention was made of a applied force other than the invisible tension force, friction or air resistance. So in this problem, there are only three forces. Normal force going up, force of the weight going down, and the tension force that is along the ropes. What you can do is now you can practice it. 
this is a block of wood sliding down a rough incline please understand the rough incline means that there's a force of friction here's the picture that's the block it's being slid down a rough surface again draw a simple shape to represent the object and I'm gonna draw a box here what I already show you um, next is the weight or force of gravity and it is going to be pointing down to on that block next you want to draw a circle around the box to indicate it now you can look for the contact forces which is a force normal a lot of people will draw the force normal like this they're like this is a f a lot of people will say oh this is the force normal wrong that is not perpendicular to the surface okay force normal is always perpendicular to the surface is if this is the surface it has to be here because it creates a 90 degrees so watch it do you see that force normal perpendicular to the surface and lastly consider all your um, other um, um, contact forces may be invisible okay but that's it uh, this problem when a block is being slid down there is the force of friction going in the opposite direction because the object is going down force normal is perpendicular to the surface and force of gravity always points down all right <laughs> that's it that's everything that you need to know about uh, the second part of newton's law of motion here we just went over your for um your typical forces that you will deal with in this chapter